Hey there, crew. It's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for hanging out with me today as we check out a brand new delivery of Birmingham Pen Company inks that I just got in. Been very excited about these because I ordered them a handful of weeks ago. And because they're made in small batch, they take a little bit longer. It's not as on demand as I'm used to with some other companies. But once these arrived, I've just been in love with them. Taking a look and trying some out on the side before this video, I can't wait for you to see these. Along with checking out the inks today, I'm also going to be sharing my brand new swatch book that I just created created using some extra things that I've had around the studio. I'm really excited about this one. So let's go ahead and check out the inks. We'll go ahead and swatch these and I'll share with you my swatch book as well. Super excited to go ahead and unroll these and see what's going inside of here. They came inside of some cool packaging. So inside of this box, let's see what we got. We've got our Birmingham Pen Company from Pittsburgh. Super excited about that. Oh, this is neat. Reusable ink bottle coaster. This reverse size, the cash drips, gather stains, and make the cork your own. Oh, that's awesome. I will definitely use that today as we are setting this up. We also get a really nice sticker. I've got one of these last time I ordered from them, I think. So that'll go on the sticker wall. And then we also have a really nice postcard from them as well. Loving that. Love their design. And look at this. We've got ourselves a little pen nib paper clip. All right, let's get into the inks, see what we got going on here. Let me keep out my my ink coaster. <laughs> All right, so everything came up rolled inside of these. This reminded me just because that silly viral, it's corn, that one that we've seen all over the internet. I've even done reels to it as well. That's what I think of. I think of corn husks when I see these. So everything came wrapped up. So to give you a little bit of background, uh, I actually purchased stuff from Birmingham Inks a while back. Um, it was really nice ink that I got from them. I have three bottles of it so far. Because I'm on the list now, I get all of their emails. And they just released a bunch of new colors. And so they put them all inside of a bundle. So when I saw this the other day, I was like, hey, I have to have this. <laughs> so there's everything inside of here. Oh, let's take a look. I love their designs of things. It's super nice. Thank you for the privilege to prepare this package for you today. Our goal is to earn your business as a customer for life. Your complete, outright, and unrelenting satisfaction is guaranteed. We've got your back. Love that. Email us, visit us. Hope you've enjoyed the experience. Love that. So when they came out with this, I was like, yeah, gotta have it. I was just coming off of the DC pen show. I had just gotten some new fountain pens and I was like, I need some different inks. Everything I have is basically blue, black, and like a grayish color. So I was really excited to get these. So inside of here comes all types of good stuff. I also got another ink as well. I was looking at their inks. They have a few different kinds of inks that are in there. Uh, some of them are like, permanent i think or like they have a, a different name to it um that kind of makes them work better so i'm excited to learn more about that one specifically um and, and kind of see what's on there so uh let's check them out oh everlasting that's the name of it so we'll take a look at that one in just a few minutes uh well, let's go ahead and look at everything that came in as a part of the new ink release colors so i'm really excited about those all right, so the first one here is called Apple Snail. We'll be testing all of these out on a swatch page once we get everything going. So Apple Snail is the first one. Our next one is Blue Bonnet. This is one that I definitely remember is a beautiful blue. Uh, even though I have blue, I, you know, who doesn't want even more beautiful blues? Okay. Muskrat, this is gonna be an interesting color. <laughs> I feel like it's not going to be the most beautiful color, but it'll be a different color for sure. Okay, it's called Electric Patina. Ooh, I don't even know what that would even be, but we'll find out in just a moment. Okay, and this was the last one that came along with the kit. This one is called Cast Iron. So that's going to be another dirty black, gray, brown color, maybe. <laughs> and then along with the new kit, they said they were sending you a free ink. So they sent this one with it. It's called Heavy Crude, which just sounds, <clears throat> that sounds awesome. Uh, it's a smaller bottle than the other ones, but as it being something that came free, you know, I wasn't expecting a big bottle of it. So that'll be really cool to see. And then the one that I was telling you about, this Everlasting Formula. So this is one I've had in my shopping cart for a while. It's called Black Ice. 
I know you're like, Mark, you just said all you have is black, blue, and grays, and here you are getting something called black ice. But the color was amazing, but also this everlasting formula is what I'm mostly interested in because as someone who's new to inks and fountain pens, I wanna make sure that the inks I'm using can work well in anything. And in some cases, will they work well with even watercolor? And in their website, it talked about these everlasting formulas doing that. However, this one came with something none of the others did, which is this little bit of a sticker that says that everlasting formula fountain pen ink can hint a unique pigment colorant. So make sure you're cleaning your pens more frequently when you're using them. Don't allow the ink to dry inside the pen. Do not use vintage pens. Do not use a demonstrator pen, which is like those clear plastic ones. And this may stain some plastic. So that's probably why you're not gonna use a lot of these other ones. So it must be made of something interesting to make it last as long as it did. So knowing that I'll definitely be careful in the pens I use it with or just use a dip pen with it. But we'll be trying this one out too as well. So as I mentioned, I have recently uh, created a new swatch book for myself. So this was actually, I used this for content planning a while back. It's from Filoflex. This is the clip book. So it's cool because you pull it to open it instead of it having those little binder tabs on it. And what I did is actually use something new that I just got from Plotter at the DC Pen Show, which are these panel layout pages inside of this refill kit. The thing is that this refill kit is larger than my plotter. I have a narrow, this is for the Bible size. So what was cool is that it actually works perfectly inside of this. So I've converted what used to be my content planner into a swatch book now. So I've already created um, the pages for this, but I'm still gonna chat with you about what I did to create these pages. I was a good boy and I planned in advance a little bit today because I don't wanna waste a lot of time stamping pages, having you watch me do that. So what I've done on these pages, which is super cool with these inserts, is they have a little space up here at the top and then these three boxes. So what I did, I just write the name of the brand here at the top. And then I have a new stamp that I got recently that has a little ink bottle with a line on it. I thought these would be really nice. At first I was just gonna swatch it just on here and then right below it. But since I have this stamp, I thought it would be nice to, to use. So I've gone ahead and stamped all of these already. And then I just take a pen or in this case, a paintbrush, and I'm just painting inside of here and then also doing like a real quick swatch down the page here. And what I wanna do with this is start to use this more as I'm thinking about colors and things like that that I want to use in my pens. If I'm not quite sure, remember what the color looks like, I can easily open this up take a look, also understand what's a part of my collection. So I have the Birmingham inks already that I already have, the Celestial Blue, which is nice, this Midnight Twinkle, which has a really cool glitter inside of it, um, the Cochlean Coal that I've used before, Monte Verde USA, so Peace Blue and Love Red. We've seen some of these colors in the recent ink test that I did with my daughter. Um, so a lot of these might sound familiar if you watch that video as well. We've got the Noir collection. I have two of those. I have Smoke and Azure that's a part of that. We also have the Amethyst and Caribbean Blue. Those are two inks that my daughters got from the DC Pen Show. I also have the Antique Turquoise from Cochlin, which I just absolutely love that color so much. The Lavender I've had for a while, that's the Cobalt Blue. Pelican highlighter ink. I'm hoping to get more ink from them in the future, but for right now I have this, but I have two other, you know, splots for them. In the meantime, we can always add on to it. And then private reserve. I also have these uh, pretty big bottles of these, but ultra black and infinity black. And then the, the Lamy that I have in just the black color there. So we are going to swatch these today. So I've got apple snail, blue bonnet and muskrat on this page, cast iron, electric pantina, black ice, and then we also have heavy crude on here as well. So let's go ahead, start one by one. We'll start over here with apple snail, blue bonnet, and muskrat and see what these look like. All right, so let's go ahead and start with apple snail. Excited to see what this one looks like. This one was like, had a greenish color to it. Uh, definitely unlike anything else that I currently have. Let's bring over, just, I just have a little thing of water off to the side and a paper towel so I can clean these off in between. So let's go ahead first and just do our large swatch. See what this looks like. Ooh, definitely don't have anything that looks like that. All right, and then we'll just fill this in here. What I also love about this plotter paper is that it can handle this ink. Most other paper wouldn't be able to do that unless it was fountain pen ink specifically. So that is super nice. All right, Apple Snail. Let's take a look at Blue Bonnet. I definitely remember seeing this one on the website. It had just such a bright, beautiful blue color to it. Mm, look 
at that. That's super nice. All right, and then muskrat. So this is one of those colors where I was like, ah, I don't have anything like this. What would I use it for? I told my wife that I got this color and she was like, that color sounds disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe it's a ratty looking color. We'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah. But see, I don't have anything like this. And I don't think I would usually buy a color like this on my own. I would just go for those instant, like, oh, blue or black. But look how cool that looks. All right. So these are the first three. So apple, snail, blue bonnet, and muskrat from the new color collection. So let's go ahead and set this off to the side to let it dry. All right. We're going to do cast iron now. And then we're going to do the electric patina. I think maybe that's how you say it. So let's start with cast iron. This one just sounds like it's going to be like a black brown, like think about like a cast iron skillet and that, you know, you never wash. That's what I'm expecting from this one. Oof, that is dark. That looks like stuff's been cooked down it for a long time. almost goes as dark as the ink that I have there. It's almost like blacked out the bottle. But that's something that I loved about this as well by doing like the larger swatch here. It kind of gives you a little best of both worlds. Here's what it looks like really saturated on here. Here's what it looks like a little bit lighter. It's hard to tell inside of these bottles because they're already dark bottles as is. But it sounds like it's going to be cool. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. I love this color. Stunning. Ever since that show, I've just been absolutely in love with inks and fountain pens. So this was like very soon after that email, they knew it. They knew that I went to that DC pen show and they sent this email right to me. <laughs> All right, and this one's called Black Ice. So this is going to be the everlasting. So if I use this with a pen, this is one had all those like precautions on it, essentially. Interesting. It feels a little bit more liquidy than the other ones did. I am by no means way, shape or form an expert on ink. So I don't even know if that's like a real thing or not, but um, even the way that it's sitting on the paper feels a little bit different than the other ones where they kind of stayed in that gradient. This is kind of all over. So I'm curious on what the extra like agent is that's inside of here that would make it different from the other ones. That's cool. I love that color too. I knew it when I saw it online, I was like, yes, it's like the best of both worlds for me. I have a lot of blues. I have a lot of blacks. This just looked different. I'm very curious what it'll look like when it's totally dry. All right. And then the last one that we're going to try today is going to be the heavy crude. So this is one of the free ones that came along with the new color kit. I'm curious if this one will look like the cast iron. Like you hear that and I think like oil or something like that. So maybe it'll have like a really interesting color to it. Oh yeah. Definitely feel that grit on there a little bit with that color, but it's really cool. That's awesome. All right, let's take a look back now. It's been a few minutes since we did the, the other ones here, but see how these dried on here really well. So the apple snail is up here. I love that name. Blue bonnet is just a stunning color. I love that muskrat. Be interesting to see what I use muskrat for. Doesn't feel like one of those instant go-to colors, you know, <laughs> but awesome. Loving that one. And then we just went over that cast iron, the electric patina, which is beautiful. The black ice I love like that. That name was perfect for this color. It has such a really beautiful feel to it. And then we have the heavy crude that we just did, which I thought was going to be similar, but it is kind of, it's just a lighter version of the cast iron, like, you know, that kind of dark brown, greeny kind of mix of things. So these are, these are super awesome. I absolutely love sharing my new swatch book with you today. And I gotta say, I think black ice might be one of my new favorite colors. Nice little mix of all of my favorite classics. But I gotta say from a naming perspective, 
Apple Snail, definitely my favorite. But it was cool to check out some new colors. I'll have all the links and everything for you down in the descriptions below. And if you are a fan of inks, fountain pens, or all of the above, if you have any great recommendations, let me know down below. I know myself in the community would love to hear about brands that you absolutely love. If you like to see inks and other types of materials being used inside of a bullet journal, you're gonna absolutely love my new Plan With Me series. I've broken it down into two parts. We've got the minimalist approach for all of the basic bullet journaling setup, and then we've got the twist, and that's where we add in inks and stamps and stickers and some other fun stationery to add a little bit of pop to our weekly spreads. Thank you so much for checking out today's video, and that playlist is right here for you.